All right, let's just get straight into it. Bill Maher, the so-called voice of reason for the politically disillusioned, is just now low-info media for geriatrics. And if you're still watching him, I'm sorry to break it to you, but you're not exactly a high IQ person yourself. At this point, Mars' platform has devolved into a mix of ignorance, elitist takes, and a complete disconnect from the realities of middle America and the working class. This is the same guy who spent years talking down to the very people he claims to speak for. So let's break down exactly why he's become irrelevant, why his viewers are being misled, and why he perpetuates a dangerous narrative. Let's start with his complete ignorance of firearms and basic gun laws. Bill Maher loves to rant about how the average American doesn't need an AR-15 or how gun owners are just paranoid. The reality? He has no idea what he's talking about when it comes to the Second Amendment or firearms regulations. Maher doesn't understand that owning a gun in America isn't about paranoia. It's about exercising a fundamental right. He's completely disconnected from the mindset of millions of law-abiding gun owners who understand the importance of self-defense and personal freedom. He spews talking points that reflect the anti-gun agenda without ever bothering to look into the nuances of gun ownership. Self-defense laws or the realities of crime in America are just a few reasons why everyone in America should have a firearm or better yet an AR-15. He just lumps all gun owners into the category of gun nuts and disposes of the concept of them and moves on without ever acknowledging that a large percentage of the country sees firearms as an essential part of their lifestyle, culture, and security. It's lazy, low-information media designed for an audience that doesn't care to dig deeper. Now on to his interpretation of the news. Bill Maher likes to try and position himself as a centrist, but trust me, his views are left-leaning through and through. His so-called balanced takes are anything but. He cherry-picks his information and his talking points to fit his agenda. He's often distorting these facts to paint a picture of America that fits into his elitist bubble. When Mar talks about political issues, he rarely goes beyond the bare surface level. He'll crack jokes about Republicans, maybe criticize Democrats lightly, but he doesn't dive into the real problems that are plaguing America today. He's a classic case of someone who thinks that they're smarter than they are and goes off spouting half-baked ideas to an audience that claps along because they're not really interested in the truth either. Mars news commentary is designed for people who want to feel intellectually superior without actually doing any intellectual work for themselves. It's low effort analysis passed off as deep insight, and this is dangerous because it keeps his viewers in an echo chamber reinforcing the same left-leaning biases without ever challenging them to think critically for themselves. And you know what? That brings us to probably the biggest problem with Mar, his complete and utter disconnect from the working class. This guy sits in his multi-million dollar mansion, flies on private jets, and then has the audacity to lecture middle America on how they should live their lives. Bill Maher just doesn't get it. He doesn't understand the struggles of the average American worker who's out there busting their ass day in and day out to put food on the table. He talks about economic policy like he's been in the trenches, but he hasn't. He's lived in an elite bubble for decades, surrounded by people who share his views and never challenge him. People in America, the people who work in industries like manufacturing, oil, agriculture, they're dealing with real issues that Marr will never understand. They're living paycheck to paycheck, struggling with health care costs, worried about job security, and dealing with the effects of policies pushed out by out-of-touch elites like him. Marr is completely tone-deaf to their Concerns. It's not just ignorance, though. Bill Maher has outright contempt for middle America and the middle class. He constantly mocks what he sees as flyover states, the parts of America that don't live up to his coastal liberal ideas. He portrays the people who live there as backwards, uneducated, easily manipulated, and worse. Just look at how he talks about middle America, the so-called red states. He'll joke about how they're full of religious zealots and dumb conservatives without ever trying to understand their perspective and the struggles these people live through. The people Mar belittles are the backbone of this country. They're the farmers, the factory workers, the truck drivers, and the small business owners that keep this nation running day in and day out so Mar can sit fat and happy in his palace and look down on the plebs. 
But Tamar, they're all just punchlines for his smug monologues. He doesn't care about their struggles. He's more interested in preaching to his coastal elite audience than he is in having honest conversation about what's really going on in this country. And that's the problem. His contempt for middle America is evident in every steering remark he makes about the people who don't share his worldview. And that brings us to the core of the issue here. Bill Maher lives in an elitist bubble, and that bubble taints everything he says. He's part of the Hollywood elite, and his entire career has been built around catering to people who think they're smarter and more enlightened than the average American citizen. He's not speaking for the working class. He's speaking for the so-called intellectuals who like to feel superior while staying completely detached from the realities that most people face. Mar talks about politics and culture from the comfort of his gated community, while everyday Americans are out here dealing with rising costs of living, job insecurity, and political divisions that actually affect their lives. When you are that disconnected from the struggles of ordinary people, you end up with a warped view of the world. Mar thinks he's giving a balanced take, but in reality, he's regurgitating the same elitist talking points that get passed around in the circle he moves in. And here's the kicker. If you're still watching Bill Maher thinking you're getting some kind of intellectual insight, you're just as out of touch as he is. Your low IQ for buying into his act. His viewers sit there nodding along, thinking they're smarter than everyone else because Maher told them so. But the reality is they're just being spoon-fed the same elitist garbage that keeps them disconnected from the truth. It is lazy media for people who don't want to think critically and and if you're part of that crowd, it's time to wake the hell up. Bill Maher is not the voice of reason he pretends to be. He's an entertainer who has lost touch with the people he claims to speak for. And if you're still tuning in thinking you're getting some great insight, you're the one lying to yourself. At the end of the day, Bill Maher represents everything wrong with modern American media. An out-of-touch, elitist, disconnected from the realities of middle America, pushing half-baked ideas to an audience that's too comfortable to change challenge him. And if you still want to watch him thinking he's got something meaningful to say, you need to take a step back and really look at what you're consuming and the decisions you've made in your life that led you to do so. Don't settle for low info, lazy media designed to make you feel smart without actually teaching you anything. It is time to wake up and demand better because Mars not giving it to you. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a comment down below if you feel the same way or if you see a lot of legacy media trying to parrot out-of-touch points to audiences that don't understand. Have a good one, my friends.